jokes. <laughs> Hi, Hoya. We wait, everybody. Watching AI generated Seinfeld. Um, I've been watching it all day. Uh, it has exploded in popularity. I think when I started watching it in the morning, they had about like 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> um, and now it's like over 60. So uh, just chilling out, watching this before I have to go to do a show later. So. Oh, and it's broken, maybe. Besides, isn't deep fried anything bad for you? What about you? <laughs> Have you ever tried deep fried Brussels sprouts? I haven't tried it, but I've heard mixed reviews. Some people swear by them, and other people say they're utterly disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. Now, like split. All right, let me refresh. It's starting to lag here. I don't know if that's me or. Incredibly rewarding experience if you find the right partner. So don't ever give up on love. All right, that's enough of that. Any other topics you want to hear about? How about family? Now How that's about it? We can all relate to. From holiday gatherings to those dreaded family dinners, it definitely keeps life interesting. And of course, no family gathering would be complete without a few embarrassing stories from mom and dad. It can be mortifying, but hey, it's all part of being in a loving family. Hey, Yvonne, do you know what day it is? I'm not sure. Why? Because it's National Dare Day. So, oh, let me ask drugs. you a dare. Go for it. Do you dare me to sing a song in the middle of the street? Oh, uh, is that kind of dare? the challenge, then I do. So, come on, let's hear it. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, hey, what's up, Misha? I'm watching AI-generated Seinfeld. Someone has like a 24-hour channel where they've created... Uh, I I don't know exactly how hey, it works. Everybody. They're using GPT Thanks to generate the tonight. text. They're I using tell you, it's AI to generate textures, I think? I dare up. Jason to jump. Project. Mm -hmm. So when I got home last night, I just started throwing things around the room and screaming. I know, I know. It wasn't I've seen it before. Oh thing. man, I've been watching it but all hey, day. It, it just came better. out. So I had this great idea afterwards. It looks like he's only I been to make streaming since like December angry. 2022. The next time I'll put them down on paper before I start throwing stuff around. They also generate a TV schedule. Yeah. Uh, very fun. Uh, it has exploded okay. in popularity. So here's what I came up. Which is giving me the idea. I've had the idea to do this, but I was like, no one would watch and I would get banned immediately. But they have creative ways around that. Three people who don't listen. Um, I'm, but it's also nebulous. They're, I'm like, not sure. So he clearly like generates scripts and they must go through some kind of moderation cue so you don't get like Hitler or uh, racist stuff. You won't believe they I sort of make yesterday. sense, the episodes, but I wonder if that's just the format. I wish they generated the other TV shows. Hey, Larry, I, I might be the guy. Was. I might, you know, I a might uh, 
be inspired to make one of these. It's it's using Unity, yeah, really. which I can definitely do. I could do like a 2D version That's of this of very easily. I've ever heard. Uh, text to speech. It's not even using like uh, the hotness for text to speech. These are just like stock Google or Microsoft voices. And it's not even like the neural enhanced ones. I mean, Seinfeld had soup Nazi, but I mean, that wasn't like, you know, uh, Jerry's actually know joining to, the Nazis or like it, it was a Nazi, but he was, anything. that was a nickname like, cause he was such a strict restaurateur. What's up, Hubble? We're watching AI generated Seinfeld. I'm just hanging out before I have to go do a show. A live show, like in front hey, of actual Fred, people. People. Did you hear the news? No. What? <laughs> Is it good news or bad news? Oh, let me turn on the light here. Eh, it's sort of a mix of both. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Well, apparently the famous ice cream parlor down the street is going to start serving vegetarian-only Sundays. That's surprising. How do you make? Is a this Sunday a quick stream then? Uh, I mean, it'll go for more than an hour, but uh, I do oh, have a hard you know, out at like ice cream and six p.m. Eastern, so that's topping. like two hours away. And as soon as Ellen gets home. I hear about Seinfeld all the time, but I've so, never actually seen it. Oh, I'd, I'd recommend it. Even if it's not your cup of tea, to play just to tennis. get the idea of an episode didn't go and well. what they mean about a show about nothing. I didn't realize how There's like my skills were. no real consequences. Match, Nobody really like grows a as a person. How to swim but it's rest. just these people in different but situations, hey, different like normal left. situations. A uh, lot of slice of life stuff from people's lives. That's hilarious. With these characters jammed so, in. Did you get any points at all? I'm guessing it didn't go too well. How about next time you just stick to baseball? <laughs> and so I think this is like the perfect show to have AI. AI generated because a show about nothing, you don't have to worry about continuity or, yeah, it's just literally, uh, in this series, I've been watching all day long. Jerry's had like 80 I'm wives and he's been single and married and singled and married. I know it's been a long week and we all need a good laugh. So, why don't I tell you about Curb is much better, yes. Curb is like Seinfeld, but, but my priorities out of uh, for adults. <laughs> so, I'm in this elevator and it's going way too slow. Okay. And then it stops compl completely. I start to panic, thinking that maybe something terrible happened. But turns out it was just the building's power going out. <laughs> what? That's pretty terrifying still. After about two hours of being stuck there, I started to run out of things to talk about. <laughs> What's up, Duke? Yeah. That's when it occurred to me how I'm just jamming out to this. I'm life. so obsessed with it. Finally, the elevator starts up again, and I'm out of there. As if that wasn't enough. When I get to my floor, there's a long line of people waiting for it. Oh, interesting. So that's the story of how I learned to prioritize my time. Uh, get yourself a VPN. I don't even know what Seinfeld's streaming on. I think Netflix. How many of you can relate? So if you have Netflix, switch your VPN All to right, America. On to the next joke. And uh, watch some Seinfeld. He's a Mormon, so he's married to them at the same time. But he, you would think that, but he also talks about being single, so. So you know what I was I think thinking. he just chain. What if instead of he's addicted to being married and then getting the a divorce. <laughs> that way we can stay cool all the time. Well. Yeah, lots of work. new restaurants, lots For of new. Starters, the freezer would be full of ice cream. <laughs> lots of ice cream talk, too. But I love ice cream. Uh, you want to share it, dude? What is it? What's the uh, character AI of? 
So do I. I will play that but probably that on Friday when I have some time. Solution to the heat wave problem. And do a normal stream. I suppose you're right. But still, it's kind of a fun idea. <laughs> I mean, we could make it work with a little creativity. That's true. And hey, if nothing else, it would make ice cream more affordable. You know what's weird? What? The other day I saw this guy walking around town with a loaf. What's up, Locky Lockland? It's arm. Tom Mars. Hey, what's up, Tom? <laughs> We're watching some AI generated That's definitely Seinfeld. Strange. I heard he was actually trying to get a free ride on the bus. I'll link once right. it's my he time. Was offering the bread to the driver in exchange oh, okay. for a free fare. Can you believe it? No, that's good, Duke. Yeah, uh, I was impressed by character AI, he and they've been, been adding really a lot desperate of desperate to resort to such a ridiculous scheme. Stuff, yeah. Yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh oh, a little laggy. I suppose so. This kind of reminds me of the game facade. Is that the one where it's like sort of AI generated? Like you could say anything to the guy. Whoa, that's awesome, Tom! Right. Holy shit! So here's the thing, my neighbor just can you link the wiki? No idea how to use Here, I'll give you. A... That's impossible. How can I've been watching all day long, so I will gladly. Yeah, I mean, what kind of world are we living in? <laughs> he didn't know how to turn on a computer. Thank you, Lucky. Did he? Oh, ads. Come to Turbo Tax. Maybe I should subscribe. And. Don't. Uh, that link did not work, I think. It worked for me. Meet with an expert I see it. Yeah. Do them for you. So you can do. Fandom link. Not Just taxes. hit the home page. Yep. Mm -hmm. Intuit TurboTax. 100% expert guaranteed. We can start with something simple like showing him how to search for something on Google. What's the earliest commercial That's AI? I would say, I don't I'm know. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. That's a low amount, Duke. Don't do taxes. I don't know. American taxes must be different. I always get like Kramer. four or five thousand back. You wouldn't believe it. I heard he's teaching a class on how to make the perfect bowl of cereal. Wait, really? Where is Akinator? One learn yeah, that? that's an early, very Especially early one. Especially someone like Cackler. He's such an earliest popular character. one. Oh, be serious, Yvonne. I don't know. Google, I'm it's feeling lucky is kind of AI. Things. Like He'll never follow through with it. Besides, who would even take it seriously? Who knows with Cackler? The class could be a hit. Evie is the oldest it, I know of? Let's what see what is happens. Evie? Boybot. I remember the but it could be an interesting Microsoft experiment. had that Twitter bot, Anything whatever her name was. Evie that. AI. Email avatar and comp uh, companion. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I kind of remember this one, too. Boy bot. So I was getting a latte when this guy just sent the foam everywhere. It was so funny. I almost didn't have time to laugh. Uh, that sounds like the worst kind of surprise. Misha, in my relationship, I'm yeah, that guy. but at least it wasn't <laughs> as bad as the time I do you the spilled taxes. a whole cup of coffee in my lap. Oh, yeah, that was a real surprise. So, how did you deal with the foam incident? Hey, what's up, Luke? <laughs> just watching some AI-generated Seinfeld. I just put my hand over my mouth and tried not to laugh. Oh, man, I couldn't believe it happened. Well, at least you didn't have to deal with the cleanup. <laughs> Talking about a foam incident? And then there's just eerie silences. Hey, what's up, Mr. Seeker? Well, that's a good start. Some people don't even know that, Misha. All right. 
So the other day I was at the grocery store. But you should probably know a little bit more about your finances. I wanted a bag for my items, and all I could think of was, is that a rhetorical question? Crowd laughs. So then, oh, that's good to hear, Mr. Seeker. And all of a sudden I look over and see a rat running down the aisle. Same, I Luke. Thought to myself, I do my own taxes. Someone's going to have an interesting day. One, just because it's Crowd so laughs. easy to do. Yeah. It's so easy to do regardless, unless even if you have like, multiple anyway, jobs. Like, so I'm walking out of the store. Novel AI I got a contender. Ooh, that's good says, news, Mr. Hey, Seeker. Buddy, can you spare some change? I don't know if there's so but, uh, him, anything you can reveal receipt. early, but. Crowd laughs. I don't even know my rent. Misha, you don't even know right. your rent? That's now not a good that's point. You should know all your so I'm out for a stroll, recurring expenses. Me, right? A he spicy says, hey, one. Man, you got any nectar? Mm. I said, no, sorry, pal. I'm sweet enough already. That is my biggest Crowd problem laughs. with novel AI. They just have t $10 for lowest tier is a lot to ask for. Especially after all, all right. this time and it Thanks hasn't decreased at tonight. all. Like, come on. It. Come on. Have a great night, everybody. <laughs> my rent Crowd ends with cheers. a 69 in the end. Both. Nice. Good night. Crowd claps and cheers. Smiles and waves goodbye. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of politics in here, Locky. He knew somebody who was running for mayor. So, <laughs> I heard the strangest thing today. Apparently, the new yoga instructor at my gym is a former professional wrestler. Is he talking to this fridge? You're kidding. That's not unusual. <laughs> Uh, someone How in a fitness. does a wrestler become a yoga instructor? I mean, it's not I mean, out of the realm of possibilities. Those are two very different skills. Eh, I know. It's fitness. I thought it was so weird. Well, it's a small world. Anything can happen. I guess that's true. I just didn't expect it. <laughs> why, why is a laugh check? Like? I mean, the last time I saw him, he was in the ring throwing people around. Oh, so he was very recently a... I hate that uh, the Elaine and Kramer have like eyes. I I don't know. I feel I feel I trust Jerry and George more when I can't see their so eyes. But there's something the funniest uncanny the valley day. about what was characters it? that look like this having eyes. Do tell like normal looking eyes. Oh, please tell us. We can't wait. Yes, tell us. All right. I was talking to my That's friend cheap as and she hell, said Misha. that she saw a squirrel wearing a tuxedo outside her window. Especially in London. Wow, that's hilarious. I wouldn't expect anything less from a fashionable squirrel. What's a Laura pack, Luke? Exactly. She was totally surprised when she saw it. Another tuxedo animal. What? First a chicken, now a squirrel. I missed it. Laura's are like miniature models. Okay. So For like tabletop stuff? You were saying stuff? something earlier about your friend's new job? They cooperate with your baby yeah, image model. Yeah, got a job oh, as a construction oh, oh. worker, and I'm so proud oh, of him. Oh, not miniature, like it's actual miniature. It's like a miniature. whole new career for him. <laughs> Plus, he said that he gets to travel all over the country. Can you believe it? I can. Wow, that's great. I don't think I'd have the guts to do something like that. So, have you thought about doing anything like that? Why do they never look at each other? They're always like facing a wall or a piece of furniture or something. Uh, I suppose it's crossed my mind, but I'm not as afraid that, as him. You would think they would at least like look back when I they're talking to the somebody. Cold temperatures. <laughs> what about you? Have you ever thought of doing something like that? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I mean, you're always so adventurous. Me? Nah, I don't think so. I'm more of a stay-at-home <gasps> person. They're fusing. Besides, my mom would never let me go anyway. Fusion dance. <laughs> oh, they're acting as one. I hope they leave that. Just have Chance 
and Hi everyone. It's great to a chance to fuse. Okay. So I was walking down the street the other day and I see this sign that says free advice. Oh, okay. So of course being me, I quickly run over to see what kind of advice I can get for free. The guy looks at me and says, don't do anything stupid. So naturally here I am. <laughs> it's very close to a joke. All right. They're dry so humping again. I'm exactly. Down the street and this guy stops me and he's like, hey kid, do you want to make some money? So obviously suspicious, I ask him what kind of money. Uh -oh. He says, I'll pay you a dollar if you can fart on command. <laughs> so of course I'm like, well, actually, I don't know what possessed me, but I said, okay. So the next thing you know, he hands me a dollar and says, all right, go for it. Well, I'm standing there thinking, how on earth am I going to do this? Okay. So finally, after a few minutes of intense deliberation, I let out the loudest and smelliest fart that has ever been heard. The guy looks at me and says, well done, kid. You earned it. Moral of the story? Never take advice from street signs. <laughs> Whoa, what? Thank you, everyone. How is that? Are they better than your AI jokes? No, not really. You should do another AI joke stand-up. I've talked about it, too. Yeah, and people who have watched me do the first one, like at that club, have asked me to do it again. But uh, I'm just too nervous. But I should. I should do it again. So, have you seen the new movie coming out? I did. It was hilarious. The whole audience was laughing uncontrollably. Fuck street sides, exactly. Hey, you know what else is funny? The way the director added in random sound effects. I heard laughing, birds chirping, and even a dog barking at one point. Tells me this is like an Adam Sandler film now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, nice, that Luke. That does sound funny. I guess we'll have to they go They trust you, it. Luke. Don't Don't burn that trust. Speaking of unexpected things, did you hear about the clown show at the park? Oh, clowns? No way. What happened? Apparently, the clowns were performing a routine and one of them lifted up the wrong bag. Out popped a giant python. Everyone what? screamed and ran away. Bad wow, clown. That would have what been clown has a show. fucking snake with it? Scary clown. Just the hard, the hard cut to the establishing shot. Hi everyone. So I recently heard that it's National Rainy Day, which is funny because here in <laughs> no, California, not, not at all. We sure. never get any rain. Anyway, I was thinking about what a rainy day means to me. I think it's the perfect excuse for me to just stay in bed all day and watch reruns of my favorite show. <laughs> And those of you who live in states that actually get rainfall, you must be so lucky. I can only New York doesn't get rainfall, like Larry. And feel the actual rain. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thanks for li <laughs> listening and have a great day. Oh, and don't forget your umbrellas if you do go outside today. Thanks, Bye. Larry. <laughs> you know, there's something to of say course. about just showing up to your <laughs> your feature set at a. Uh, Thanks, everyone. But uh, maybe put a little bit of effort into it, Larry. You're not going to be invited back. You're, you're earning a reputation for yourself, Larry, by just shitting out these sets. Maybe uh, one of these episodes, instead of talking to your microwave, so, Larry, you should be writing. You know that the strangest thing happened to me today? What was it? I was walking down the street, and I saw a man wearing an old-fashioned top hat. Okay, old-fashioned top hat. <laughs> Oh, I guess that's, that's a punchline. That's definitely line. strange. What did you do? How is Larry a full-time stand-up? You got me, Misha. Then after a few blocks, he turned around and looked at me. <laughs> what did you do then? I smiled and waved at him. I guess he must have liked it, because he kept on walking, although a bit faster. That's really weird. I wonder why he didn't just turn around and run away. No way. Why would he do that? I have no idea. But it definitely made my day a little more interesting. Uh, that's good, Luke. You can plead the fifth. Yeah, as long as it's legal, that's all I need to know. 
The laugh track is off. Yes, for sure. I think the laugh track's influenced somehow by the chat. I when feel is like this maybe going to the, be over? there is some stuff definitely influenced I'm by the bored. chat. But again, nebulous oh, don't rules. Worry. I've got a surefire way to inject some excitement into this conversation. What is it you have in mind? <laughs> well, why don't we play a game? Okay. <laughs> Let's play a game as Phobia. Yeah. Oh, what kind of Kramer's music? floating. How about rock, paper, scissors? How's everybody supposed to play that? Brilliant. All right, I'm in. All right, let's see who can win the most rounds. Are they good to do it? If they can actually play rock, paper, scissors. Nope, never mind. They're out. They're like, nah, we can't do it. We don't. Uh, we said we were going to do it, but none of us has. Did you hear about the AI generated the elf? Street? Ooh, that would be very interesting. I heard it's really good. That's great, but I can't eat sushi. Why not? You're missing out. I'm allergic to fish. Oh, <laughs> I knew that was coming, yeah. Allergic to fish? <laughs> yeah, now it's That's impossible. That's rather unusual allergy. Not really, it's pretty common. <laughs> yeah, but luckily he doesn't have a seafood oh, shaped head or anything. Seafood shaped head? That would really head. be something. Ha, huh, yeah. I'll give you something to talk about. Oh, using the computer. I hope this hey, guy everybody. is happy because this thing has it's exploded in popularity. And he's whoever uh, whoever made so this, or it joke. looks like like a studio made what it. The They've been doing the like ball. releases and Damn. like restarting a, uh, the <laughs> Unity and pushing it out pretty uh, flawlessly throughout the day. One. All right, let's try something else. What did the ghost say when he arrived late? So the good party? on you, Sorry, Watch I'm Forever Studios or whatever. Ha ha. Okay, that's enough of the ghost jokes. Speaking of parties, did you hear about the guy who threw a surprise party for his wife? He was so no. surprised when she showed up. <laughs> was that an infidelity joke? All right, well, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> it a was night. a surprise. Applause. I was having a party well, and my everyone. wife showed up. I what a surprise. It. So I was walking home from the store today, and this guy comes up to me and asks for money. That's see if outrageous. I can turn it up a little bit Did here. Did you give it to him? No way. I told him to get a job like everyone else. Ha, huh, good one. What did he say then? He just walked away. I guess he figured I wasn't worth the hassle. Turn that a little bit. <laughs> Just a, a, the hard cut to silence. Seinfeld Advanced so, Warfare, yeah. What do you think is call, the funniest call thing that's ever happened to no you? No duty. Well, I once spilled coffee on my boss and he thought it was intentional. He yelled at me for about five minutes before realizing the truth. <gasps> it was so embarrassing, but also really funny. How about you? Psycho What's George. What's been your funniest moment? I have to say it was the time when I tried to buy something in a store and after taking my car out of my wallet, it slipped out of my hand and flew across the entire room. Everyone was just staring at me. It was so Hilarious awkward, gambit. But also hilarious. What about you? How would it fly across the room? The funniest moment was when I was performing a stand-up routine and completely forgot the punchline to my joke. Oh, George is doing stand-up. Everyone started laughing and I just stood there with a blank look on my face. It was so embarrassing, but also so funny. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely. It was up so there funny, my card slipped out of my I've hands and hit the baby right in the temple. What about you? What do you think is the funniest moment ever? 
in existence of humanity or in my life that I've witnessed? <laughs> They're not going to answer. Just no, steamroll it past that one. So I heard that the new restaurant down the street is supposed to be pretty good. New restaurant. Really? I was thinking of giving it a try. What is it? I hear the Fusion? chef is experimenting with some interesting dishes. Okay. Do you think we should go there for lunch tomorrow? Sure. Why not? They're I've always been looking down. for something new to try. Why do they Let's even check ask? Let's it out and They're... see what they have. The answer is always yes. Sounds like a plan. Hey, you know what else would be fun? What's that? We can pretend we're food critics and give the place a review when we're done. That's evil. That's think? conniving. <laughs> Pretending to be a food critic and not being a food critic. Let's do it. That's a bit of a scandal. Hey guys, did you hear the news? Trump and Kim Jong-un are going to have a summit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wonder what they're going to talk about. I bet it'll be about nuclear disarmament. What the fuck? But who knows, maybe they'll su surprise us. I think the most surprising thing would be if they came out of the summit together wearing matching outfits. That would be hilarious. It's doing current, well, <laughs> not really current events, but. I think but they'd make a good comedy duo, don't you guys? Comedy duo? Definitely. Ironically, yes, they I guess. They can tour the world and do stand up together. If Kim Jong-un stopped being a, an evil dictator, yeah, maybe. Who knows? Maybe Who? they'll be the next big thing. What? Sounds like a wild idea, but I guess if they put their minds to it, anything can happen. I guess, yeah. And Trump would be down. He's so stupid. Kim Jong-un might be too smart for that, but he would use it to his advantage if it was offered. So, Fred, what have you been up to lately? Anything new and exciting? I cannot believe they talked about Trump and yes. Kim Jong-un. I've just gotten into magic. It's kind of a surprising hobby for me, but I'm really enjoying it. Wow, really? That's cool. Magic George. What kind of tricks have you been doing? Can you show me one right now? Yes, I would love to see you. Or can you even... Sure. Watch this. He's going to turn on the microwave. Waves his hands around and suddenly a rabbit appears out of thin air top. <laughs> what? what do you think? You can't just say that, George. Pretty impressive. Eh. Hey, what's up, Enigma? How did he do that? Uh, yeah, okay. I appear on the Great Wall of China, and now I'm back. Magic! Hey, you know what I heard? They're having a sale at the mall. Yeah, everything's half off. You know what I'm thinking? We should go shopping. <laughs> okay. Shopping? I don't know about that. Very uncramer thing to that do. That sounds too normal for me. How do you get what your stuff, you George? Do? Whoa! He sucked into the couch! <laughs> well, Jesus. That's too normal different. for me. I'm about to dive headfirst into this couch here. Out some books. That's a great idea. Online? I love the smell of books. Okay. No, no books. We're going shopping. Anything and everything half off, we don't want to miss out on this deal. Oh, all right. Kramer's Stop really here. about this 50% off deal. Never a bad time to Which, save some money. the whole ball is doing Let's the go. deal? 50% off? I would fucking be all over that, yeah. There. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> some teleporting objects here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Walmart has guns in America. Half off of all guns and ammo? Half hey, off of TVs? So my wife says to me the other day, I'm going. Honey, don't forget to pick up milk on your way home. You know what I said? I. <laughs> he just says I? Said, 
What do I look like? A cow? Do I own a weapon? So other day, I, I own airsoft guns and a baseball a bat, but no, nothing you know beyond that. I I thought about buying a weapon, so but I I, uh, I am so scared that I'm just gonna shoot myself, or like someone's gonna discover it. So nah, cashier, not for me. Yes, I'm eating out tonight. Uh, I had a friend take so me out to out gun range, and I had a lot of fun. And but I was like, I cannot I own one of these. I was so scared to hold so one in my hand. Hey, some of like to keep our childlike innocence. Luke, you have one. I'm too scared. And I know a guy who was like a dope that was cleaning his gun and he shot himself in the face, but it like went through his cheek. But I was like, nope, I would do some shit, stupid shit like that. I don't know. Don't want it. I don't want the- Wow, this show is <laughs> yeah, a weird I... bunch of stuff we put together for our comedy show. I can't kill myself with a computer quickly. Like, I can't just electrocute. It's so crazy we could make it funny, even if everything yeah. doesn't quite fit together. I would just be so just nervous to have it in my house. Ingredients mixed together for a tasty show. Everyone has kitchen knives, so, so everyone sure has their weapons. That's it. a good point, but well, I guess a kitchen knife can can't fly out of my cabinet at Did you see the expression uh, on Yvonne's 300 miles an hour. Talking about it. Go right through my face. So I knew you two were up to something strange. I just couldn't put my finger on it. But now okay. I'm in on the joke, and it's funny. It's always more fun when you're in on the joke. <laughs> uh, just laugh track at the weirdest times. That's for sure. We might as well take advantage and make our show even more comedic. I could throw kitchen knives faster than a gun. <laughs> Hey, Larry, did you hear about the new cafe that opened up down the street? <laughs> <laughs> new cafe. Yeah, I did. I heard they have really great coffee. To heck with the coffee. I'm mostly excited about their breakfast burritos. I heard they pile them high with eggs, ham, and salsa. Sounds delicious. That does sound good. Hey, I'm hungry right now. I was now, thinking so. about stopping by for lunch tomorrow. Want That's scary, me? Luke, yeah. You don't want to be Count a target just having him hanging out there. Sure. Why not? We can grab a bite and Ice catch in up the couch. on what's been going on. Great. Sinking. It'll be a surprisingly funny lunch. Well, that's good. Hey, Larry. Did you hear about the new thing that's happening? What new thing? They're having a clown competition in town and the clown. winner gets a free vacation. A clown competition? Okay. I'm in. I'm in what too. What do I have to do to win? Do I need to make the judges laugh? No. It's a clown competition. Not exactly. Apparently the winner will be decided by a panel of local business owners and community members who will judge the contestants based on their clowning skills, Costumes, props, originality, and performance. Okay, that's so a lot of things. start practicing your clowning. Yeah. Wow, this is going to be some competition. All right, I'll start getting my clowning skills ready. What do you think would give me an edge over the other clowns? <laughs> uh, Duke, are you using character AI to generate? Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming out. There's tonight. more to this charity than I meets the eye. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could. So, I won't masquerade as a, a charity, though. A gummy bear. I don't even know a person who owns a gun. <laughs> yeah. Aren't guns, like, super illegal right. in Here's Australia? How do you fix Seems my character AI can write Seinfeld out loud. That's good to know. With tomato paste. <laughs> All right, here's one more. What did the fish say when he hit the wall? Damn. Damn. That's been a regular. That's been a repeating joke and the chicken slide. No idea. I'm not from Australia. Oh, I thought you hey, were at Hubble. I, I don't know why that. I don't know why you I got thought some that. Tickets for the big game. 
So what happened? But, fun fact. <laughs> like, yeah, guns are super illegal. I don't know, Did Australia. you win the lottery? I'm pretty sure. Come on. Give like they the had details. like a, a mass shooting in Australia and then they were just Not like, exactly. okay, we're taking all I the guns away. from a very special source. He was able to secure me two front row tickets in exchange for some I cookies. live in Austria. Sound I similar, I know. Oh, okay. I, I, I associated that. I didn't that. get them, at least someone else would have and I couldn't let that happen. Man, that's amazing. You're really living life on the edge. What kind of cookies did you have to give him? <laughs> oh, just some chocolate chip ones. It was the least I could do. But now the real challenge is going to be getting them through stadium security. There you go, code backup. Or like Doom. D Doom Soldier's just gonna cut off your hand and break in. Whoa! Where? Where's Larry? Where, where is he? Why is the camera panned down? Oh my god, scary! Where did it, what happened to Larry? Larry's been kidnapped! So, what's new? Anything exciting happened lately? Yeah. Well, I was driving along the other day and I thought to myself, what if I just drove off a cliff? Oh my god! What? You can't be serious. Larry, no! <laughs> Why the lab track? No, of course not. But it did make me realize just how little control I actually have in life. We no, never no. really know what's around the corner. No, you, you, know? you have yeah, faith in I yourself, Larry. That's why you gotta take each day as it comes. Exactly. Uh, the cues just try uh, to keep a positive attitude. Yeah, and we're not doing media share home. today, Misha. You know, you're right. Life can be unpredictable. That's, that's why he wasn't on stage. He drove off negative. a cliff. Oh my god. <laughs> Exactly. What's up, That's Fever? The right attitude. Now, are you ready for that game of chess I promised? What's the point? Ba -ba -ba -bam -ba -bam. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't answer yes or no. That was Larry's having a hard, Hi, a rough day. So I'm here tonight to tell you a few jokes and hopefully make you chuckle. What did the fish say when he hit the wall? Damn. Damn. <laughs> Suicide equals comedy. You know what I got? Wow, he really got to the punchline really quick. He didn't even... Why Good. don't oysters give to charity? Because they're shellfish. Oh, God. That's... that's what a did the tree say after it was cut down? Stumped. <laughs> stumped? <laughs> I'm stumped? Why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to, to the get slides. To, the other slide. to get to the other slide. Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? In case he got a hole in one. Oh my god. What did the librarian say when she caught two students skipping school? I'm booking it. What did the man say when someone opened the refrigerator door? Close the door. I'm dressing. What? Some of these. He's really rapid fire kicking these ones out. The... Why did the chicken cross the playground? It must be like a s part of the prompt that just gets repeated hey Larry, or something. I'm so excited hmm. about the upcoming show. Yeah, me too. I'm really looking forward Larry to Larry finally hit comedy Have gold. Uh, that was definitely material? the most jokes in one yeah, set I've he's done. Yeah, I got some great new jokes up my sleeve. But I'm not telling anyone until it's show time. Yeah, hey, where's George's set? I heard that the venue is planning on adding some special seating for VIPs. Yeah. I heard that too. I guess it's only right to give some lucky fans a special experience. Do you think it'll what do you be mean worth by the that? extra cost? It depends. I mean, it might be worth it if you get something special like exclusive access to a VIP lounge or free snacks. For a comedy show? That just yeah, feels wrong. That would make it worth the price. For a I'm band? Sure the VIPs will love VIP it. Makes you more know, sense. I'm sure the organizers are planning something special for those select few. It'll be interesting uh, to find out what it is. I wouldn't bank on the venue doing that. <laughs> Especially for a stand-up.
All right. So who wants to go first with their surprise? I do. My surprise is, I secretly took up ballroom dancing lessons, and I'm really getting into it. Okay, that's a good surprise. <laughs> Not really, uh, it's kind of like you're just telling us now. That's incredible. Unless you've been a ballroom no dancer idea. your whole life, Elaine. But my surprise is that I'm thinking of buying a pet fish. <laughs> there goes Jerry, emerging from the great. couch. I never thought you'd be a fish person. Yeah, I guess that's an interesting <laughs> surprise. I'm not usually, but I think it would bring some fun and life to my apartment. Uh, uh, but George Absolutely. was talking about the fish. <laughs> so George is getting the fish for well, Elaine? My surprise is that I finally found someone to clean my apartment. After years of putting it off, I'm so glad I did it looks great. Wow, that's great news. How did you manage to do it? Hey, what's up, I'm gonna? I'm so glad you finally did it, Larry. I bet you feel a huge weight of your shoulders. How filthy was this apartment? <laughs> nope. Just not gonna answer. What's the deal with microwaves? I mean, all that science Larry just Jerry up thinks leftovers? So. Exactly. You'd think they could come up with something more useful than that. Larry must be very depressed because he never uses that stove. He always microwaves his food. Yeah. Like a device to make laundry disappear. <laughs> that's okay, I'm okay. Now that's something I paid for. Hey, what's up, Hank? I know. Oh, did he? Or a machine that'll bake a cake in five seconds. What is the mystery of Green Devil, Hank? <laughs> that was a 13B. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Seeker was also talking about a meeting with investors anymore. earlier. That's true. That went well. Maybe they should make a machine. So that I don't takes know if you're involved in that, Hank. Baking. Now that's an invention I'd support. <laughs> Me too. Yep, I hope it means we get a more public release of the model. But that's entirely of his own effort. Oh, okay. Wow. Awesome. It's investor for him, not for Cobalt. Oh, okay. Well. Mad about you. Hadation? Hadation home? What is that? What, what was that movie? Talk of the Hill? The Danan family? College basketball man. All my children. The com compet monitor? Did anybody see that? It was like right at the top of the thing. A victory garden. Remember when TV gods used to be this and you just had to wait? to see what was on man i mean i guess back in the day it was just tv guys and you had to wait for the thing so I guess to the see what was even playing true. that week what goes around comes around yeah i guess the same can be said for comedy don't miss that that kind of sucks. today may not be tomorrow we've all had jokes that bombed at one point or another and don't get me started on hecklers those guys can really ruin uh -oh. a set uh -oh. all they want to do is be heard and make everyone else suffer don't heckle well, sometimes they can actually be funny, but most of the time it's just painful. I know. It's like you're caught in a bad stand-up comedy time loop. Uh, I yeah, I wonder, Hank. I wonder if this guy uses Cobalt AI. Because... <laughs> or I wonder how he, like, um... Yeah, feeds the scripts into the this Unity thing. And he uses GPT-3. That's how you keep them laughing. Um, hmm. But like what model and like the script seems too coherent. But I wonder if he could be using it. Yeah, I don't know. I know uh, I was I'm in the discord and someone mentioned that he's using like a, a Microsoft Azure function to feed stuff into the Unity thing. And he calls that function, which creates the episodes. So I don't know. 
very curious because I'm also now that I see that this is like wildly popular I'm thinking about doing something like this and make something in unity uh, it wouldn't look this good but it would be something I have some ideas growing and I would use cobalt AI probably For the API alone, that just makes it so much easier to... And then you could save a bunch of scripts and feed those in like independently. So I could have like a folder full of scripts. Hmm. <laughs> hey, did you hear the news? What news? Did something happen? They're predicting snow in Florida. Can you believe it? Wild. I mean, this year's pretty crazy. wacky weather-wise. It never snows in Florida. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's fucked up. I know, right? I heard that the beaches are going to be closed just in case it does snow. I mean... Are you serious? That's absurd. How do you close a beach? Snow in Florida? Yeah, this is a wild... This is some post-apocalypse universe. Yeah, oh my god, Luke was talking about so that. what did you get up to today? Anything exciting? You know, just went to the bank. Tried to open a If you do account, want to share, even if it's not safe for work, response. Luke. If you want to share that in the Discord. <laughs> they said I didn't have enough money I'm sure to someone would one. be interested. That's ridiculous. Tell me about it. Couldn't believe it. I guess millionaires have to open accounts somewhere else. Anyway, I'm still trying to figure out what to do now. Any ideas? Maybe I should try a credit union. I had a credit hey, union and they fucked idea. everything up. It's worth a shot. Yeah, like, why not? One time they deposited like $6,000 of somebody else's money and I had to tell them that. <laughs> So what do you think about this latest situation? I mean, it's highly unusual. You've got that right. I can't believe they go ahead and do How do you accidentally like get someone's money, Jason? Yeah, it's it was not a well-run credit union. <laughs> it was a credit union where account numbers I mean, were like sequential. Something like this could like, happen. Like, so there was an account like number a below dream. mine and above mine. And I was but like, maybe there's something this we is can so do to get them stupid. To change their minds. I'm sure we can think of something creative. What is this, an AI sitcom? Yeah, yes, it is. True. That's exactly right, Chonktober. We've got to come up with some clever solution. I mean, it's worth a try, right? It's a AI-generated Seinfeld. It doesn't backfire, uh, this honest. guy's been blowing up. Like Vice, uh, this could be a huge wrote an article about it, it and it went from like don't worry, uh, we'll a thousand followers, and now they're we'll over like sixty thousand followers. Puffin', boy. Hey, you thanks for the so. follow, Topper. All right, let's brainstorm. Great. Okay, let me see. Hmm. <laughs> that seems awesome. Getting money is not yours, but if you keep it, it's fraud, right? Or something? I don't know. Hey, everyone. How's the it bank is tonight? the one that made the mistake. I but. hope you all brought enough energy to get through this set. Because I've got some jokes that... No, money is yours until they give it to you. Yeah. But then, you know, it's a double-edged sword. I would always be scared that the bank, so the credit week, union, was going to take it away from me. Family. We drove for hours, and eventually we stopped at this small town that was so tiny it didn't even have a stoplight. We were all so exhausted from the trip, but my mom said we had to get some food before heading back home. So she takes us to this little diner in town and orders for everyone. Turns out, the only thing they serve is steak and potatoes. Okay. So here we are in this tiny little place without a single vegetable in sight. Potatoes my a vegetable? My dad turns to my mom and says, what the heck are we supposed to do with all these potatoes? And my mom turns around and says, I don't know, honey. Try making french fries. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean that sounds All good. Right. One more joke before I wrap this up. That wasn't a joke. That so was like a tale from you. A bar and he sees a rabbit sitting on top of the bar. Okay. He's a bit confused. So he turns to the bartender and says, what's that rabbit doing here? The bartender replies with a smile. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just here waiting for the barmaid to pull a double shift. All right, everyone. That's all for tonight. The rabbit works at the bar? Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the show. What's up, Brian? I want to see this AI generated thing like this, except Sierra 80s PC game format. Oh, okay. King's Quest AI? Interesting. Yeah, I would like to see that as well. Hey, Larry, did you hear about the big news? What news? Uh, I want to try, Is like, making an AI generated news? cartoon. Check the art <laughs> channel, Jason. Hey, what's it up, Owl? I'd love to see a, a Simpsons so knockoff AI. I think animation would do Come really on. well. Spill it. Well, it turns out I just won a massive lottery jackpot. Can you believe it? Wow, that's incredible. Congratulations. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool, Amogana. Thanks. It's really taken me by surprise. Yeah, I'll show that real quick. There you go. That's pretty good. What's that generated with, Amagana? Oh my god, it's just showing the chair again. What happened to Larry? Last time Larry was talking about driving off a cliff that next... Oh god, I hope he's alright. That's so on my latest model. Okay. And his name is Bob. Ah. <laughs> he's a real he cool drove man. off another cliff? <laughs> That's or maybe funny. you thought about it. I know other people with fish names that are a little less conventional. Fish names? Oh, yeah. Like what? Well, there's Carl the Swordfish, Albert the Whale, and Juliet the Penguin. They're you know all these quite people? Entertaining. Interesting. Elaine's got some weird hey, friends in this do universe. Any of them have gills? I'm not sure, but I think Juliet the Penguin has feathers. Haha. -ha. Right, that's Those true. aren't fish. I mean... So, Larry, what <laughs> kind of fish is Bob? I don't know. They're not my friends. Start puffing, boy. Hey, thanks for the follow, Seed9. It just cuts to nothing. Hey Larry, did you hear about the new restaurant opening up downtown? I do like uh, people names for animals. It's supposed to be really fancy, and all the celebrities go there. Hey, Yvonne, did you hear about it? Yeah, I heard. It's Larry a ghost that only they could see. They say the food is really good. That might be the lore, secret lore. That sounds Chonktober. amazing. I he really did drive off a cliff. Oh. Well, I heard there's a three-week waiting list, and they only accept reservations through their website. So, it's the hottest place in town. I'm Rest in peace, Larry, to yeah. Hey, I just thought... We'll remember you, Larry. We should all go together and make a joke out of it. That sounds like a great idea. I'm I think Hank. that's part of the charm, though, Hank, is the blandness of it. But yes, I, I, I think also for coherency and for filtering hey, reasons, Fred, like, did you hear what happened down the street? I feel like. Uh, it's I've totally been watching unexpected. all day, and it hasn't said anything like, I mean, uh, who would ever think you know, like unsavory, like against TOS, so. <laughs> That's what I said. What? What happened? Tell me, <clears throat> I've got to hear it. Because when the AI believe? Dungeon 2 source came out, there was a lot of streams that had, like, stuff something with no with filters, and they would no, all, uh, they all got purged by it. Twitch. Like, a lot of them got banned. Because they just left them unattended. So, I feel like this can work, but there has to be some kind of mod cue that he's going through. So, Kramer didn't scream any slurs. Not yet. Not yet, so Chuck Dober. He's always on I the edge, though. Hit up this new sushi place. It I talked about Trump really and Kim, good. yes, which is interesting. Which that makes me think... Interesting. There's something. If you are. <laughs> there's something there, Misha. I'm actually not in the mood for sushi. Well, then where do you want to go? I was thinking we could try that new karaoke bar. You want us to go sing karaoke? That yeah. does sound like a great idea. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That does sound. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm up for karaoke. Come oh, on. okay. It'll be fun. The first sign of dissonance. All right, I'm in. Okay, it didn't take much convincing. Okay, normally they're so very it. much down. Let's go sing our hearts out. When do we get a political episode? I mean, who knows? Hey, everyone. So I heard the other day that would be a fun if you had a donation-based prompting engine. Have any of you heard about it? Anything's possible. It's where you only eat red M and M's. That's and one way to share the computer. So yeah, sometimes it does. Kind of like my life. <laughs> so I'm thinking of trying it out. Anyone else here willing to join me in my experiment? Hey. If it works out, what? then maybe we'll be able to sell the Elmo diet as the new fad. Elmo diet? I I do not want to experiment with the Elmo diet. Uh, I don't think Elmo eats anything on the show. You know what I heard? What? I heard that this shop is giving out free ice cream cones today. <laughs> A lot of free ice cream? Oh, really? Why? The Elmo die is when you're they only allowed to hunt and kill Elmo. <laughs> the solstice, but I think they just want people to come in and buy things. Yeah, How that's what any store is. Any hmm. store or restaurant. It could be some kind of marketing ploy. <laughs> what? <laughs> the opening yeah, of a restaurant is a marketing suspicious. ploy? I'm going to go yes? check it out. I could really use an ice cream cone right about now. Yeah, help you float. Okay. Uh, Jerry's like, I need to gain some weight. I've been floating off my chair and my couch. I don't think that's normal. The gravity in my apartment's gotten really light. I need to get fat as shit eating ice cream every day. Cooking the beautifuls. Sports to beat. On the family. Cartoons, Flintstones. A shark command? Well, ah, man, the good ones will always fly by. I saw something about a shark command. There's something. Cooking the beautifuls. Rosie O'Donnell? Start puffing, boy. Hey, thanks for the follow, Moodux. So, what do you think of the new rookie in town? That song I Not recognize. Much. I wonder where He's he feeds into duck, this. That one. He spends his days talking to himself. And no one can seem to figure out why he's even here. <laughs> I'll see how that was just guaranteed but if funny. He does stay, hmm? I'm well, sure he'll if you like to laugh at some interesting conversations for us. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's one way to look at it. All the no, same, George. it might be fun to hear some of his stories. I'm sure they'd be quite unorthodox. Let's hope so. Everyone like hops on the couch like this like <laughs> seems like the hey, couch based the navigation is broken inspiring magician maybe we can get into practice some tricks for us that would certainly make for some interesting moments <laughs> i've been following this when it got to 6k and now it's almost close to 17k and oh, they still haven't left the damn apartment yet shot. yeah why not sounds like an entertaining way to pass the time I don't think they're ever leaving the apartment, Moodux. They cut to the comedy club. Okay, the comedy club might be in their building, though. Because when they do establishing shots, it's just that. And then he's in the club. <laughs> the comedy hey, club Fred, is just his basement. The job. apartment is home. Exactly. Fancy that. Oh, yeah. I'm working for Larry's old boss at the pool store. Turns out he was looking for someone to help manage all his chlorine sales. It's a great opportunity. I've already started selling chlorine to all the local Plot twist, these pools. are real people and they're trapped forever. Oh, existential crisis. 
Wow, that's impressive. I guess when it comes to chlorine, you're the go-to guy. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it's been a great experience. I don't know how I'd I feel if I'd be like, the I'm the chlorine, chlorine guy. Interacts with water. Sounds yeah, like you need some chemicals. Expand your horizons. Yet no, I'm not a pool cleaner. On something new. Thanks. I'm loving the challenge. Who this knows? is set during oh, quarantine. Maybe you'll be a chlorine expert someday. I'll show you Anything's chlorine. Anything's possible. There goes that damn microwave. Don't let the chlorine guy and ammonia guy mix. Or the bleach and ammonia. So, do you think you can beat it? What? Mm -hmm. Me. Be what? That game I told you about Space Invaders. Oh, that brand new game Space Invaders. Oh, that one? No way. I mean, I tried it a few times before. But every time I got to the second level, my ship got destroyed by an alien missile. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. I guess I just don't have enough game skills. Yeah. That's okay. It's not a requirement to have game skills to survive in Elaine this world. is such a gamer girl, yeah. Besides, I know someone else who is even worse at Space Invaders than you are. No way. Who could be worse than me? My brother. He is the worst Space Whoa. Invaders player I've ever seen. Oh, brother. Every time he plays, aliens take over and all of his spaceships get destroyed in a matter of minutes. Oh, it's that's... pretty embarrassing to watch. Whoa, Elaine wow, is a master... Really Player but at here. least it makes me feel better about my space invader skills. Yeah. Is this a plot of pixel? The shame yeah. of being the worst space invaders player. Damn, Elaine. Okay. No one gives two shits about space invaders. Maybe she's the first space invaders pro. I could, yeah, I could, she's got some ego about it. Hey, Larry, did you hear the news? They're finally remodeling the cafe across the street. Wow, that's great. I guess they're trying to keep up with the times. Yeah, there's been 80... What else? 80 restaurants a minute here opening in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> they're fun. Well, oh, yeah. apparently the bookstore is now renting out Polaroid cameras. I could see that what? happening. Who would have thought an old-fashioned bookstore would be into the latest tech trend? The latest? <laughs> Is that sarcasm, Larry? I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. I suppose not. <laughs> oh, creepy Elaine eyes. Oh, and you'll never guess what I heard about the post office. I'm all ears. What is it? Nothing. Don't tell us ever. Uh, media shares off, Hank. I'll have it enabled tomorrow, though. I'm so glad to be here on stage tonight. It's great to see all of you out enjoying a night at the club. I was just talking to the bartender. He said he only has two drinks left in his. It's just a whole music they use. Bar, oh, okay. Which means I'm going to have to get a little creative with my jokes tonight. All right. What do you call a fish out of water? A flopping fish. Uh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> damn. I just All love right. that. What do you call a jellyfish that's feeling down? A blurry. And a blurry? What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Gummy bear, yeah. That's a common one, too. Oh, and what do you call an elephant in the fridge? A tight squeeze. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. One last joke before I go. Why did the chicken cross the playground? To get through to the, get other, to the other slide. Ugh. <laughs> it's so repetitive in nature that it's all right. Thank it's you growing on me. Tonight. All the all the beams, I hope the microwave, good night. good night, the bad jokes, Larry <laughs> talking about driving off a cliff. A lot of good beams already in the first day. Somebody needs rehab. Yeah, Larry, Larry. eyes on Larry. Someone. Hey. Did you hear about this new restaurant opening down the street? The friends group is taking a <laughs> taking turns watching Jerry yeah, so he's never alone. I heard it's supposed to be really good. What do you think? 
<laughs> Larry just like me. Oh God. I hope not, oh, Luke. No way. I don't Larry think should just get another place. job. No, what then he'll mean? definitely do it. If Larry can't do stand up, Misha, he's ending it. Well, I heard they don't allow music and the food is all vegetarian. Wow, that's pretty strict. Yep, I like my burgers with a side of rock and roll. What? <laughs> what? George only eats at the Hard Rock Cafe. I hear that. Just not our scene. A generic diner set would be a good addition. Yeah, I I agree. Hey, how's like different branded coffee today? houses. Pauses for response. They have a suggestion channel, Enigma. All right. So I was just walking down the street the other day, and I saw this guy who had a dog wearing a tutu. Dog now in a that's tutu? Something you don't see every day. No, not really. Pauses for laughter. <laughs> Pauses for laughter. I love when he reads stage so, directions. I'm like, hey, why is your dog wearing a tutu? Uh huh. And all he says is, well, it's the only way she'll stay still for me to put her in my backpack. Pauses for laughter. What the fuck? All right. So I'm thinking, wow, that's really something. But then it gets even crazier because he pulls out this pair of roller skates from the backpack and starts to tie them onto the dog. Uh huh? Larry's just witnessing animal abuse take place and he's doing nothing about it. Hey, Fred. Saying pauses for laughter is the best way to get laughs in the club, yeah. What invention? A hundred percent guaranteed to work if you just go with pause for laughter. Oh, there you go. When you love the environment, ad break. You work to protect it. The Subaru Solterra electric SUV. Subaru's first all electric, zero emissions SUV. We've got some catching up to do. He got no laughs. Well, built to help you protect the environment as you explore it. Love. It's, it's not the laughs, Subaru. it's the attempt. Subaru. Larry's getting in front of people. He's putting himself out there every day. You know, sometimes you have a bad show. It just happens. It's inevitable in comedy. Is uh, Blue Archive beans growing on you? You know what? They kind of are, Omagana. Not every joke can be as funny as Flopping Fish, yeah. You can't... That's his closer, for sure. Does it properly trigger ad breaks, or are we missing out on when this happens? I think we're probably missing you, out. They're probably not elevator. timed out. Nothing. But for a young homeowner becoming their parents, it's a learning opportunity. Come on in. <laughs> the more the merrier. Paris, huh? <laughs> Bonjour. Uh, maybe I should we subscribe so I don't have to see elevator. these. Tom, it is not easy. Tenth floor, huh? Must be a heck of a view. Okay. So you everyone else is facing this way? Progressive can't save you from becoming your parents, but we can save you money when you bundle home. You know, Larry's funnier than that ad was. Okay, let's hang back. We're going to try that again. If it's bottomless? Yeah, Larry. It's a no-brainer. Come on, Larry. Let's live a little. Besides, you don't have to eat the whole Sunday. All right. You convinced me. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Luke. I will not. Duh! Jesus Christ, that scared me. <laughs> uh, the Bill Martin to count what? Telecostal news? Telecostal? Star Trek TNG. The Benter Macation. What is going on? What if this is slowly going to turn into a horror channel? I would love that. That would be so amazing. We cut to Jerry, or Larry, just in a bus, hurdling off a cliff. Are those AI generated too? I think so, a little bit. Start puffing, boy. Hey, thanks, Zumba Wawa. Thanks for the follow. Sports, sports, sports. I think part of it's, like, generated, part of it's, like, seeded. And then... I think it, some of these have to be from chat, like influenced somehow, some way. 
one of these followers won't lurk and join in one day. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, they can do whatever they want. As long as they follow. I love wow, watching the play this place is great. Yeah. I never what got into sports, surprise. but... I know, right? I'm glad we decided to come here. Yeah, I never thought we'd all be together in a place like this. Although, it's kind of weird. In an apartment? What do you mean? Well, I mean, it's like a dream come true. But I'm not sure what kind of Elaine dream that just is. just full on... Whatever dream it is... She full I'm force just fell into the couch there. <laughs> oh! Larry and George having a walk attack. Me too. Walk battle. Let's make the most of it. I'm all for that. Oh, lagging. The George voice Listen, sounds way off. I, yeah, for sure. What's up, anime? I'm just happy we're all here. Here, here. Now let's enjoy the evening. Okay, quiet! All right, everybody, hang out over my place, but I'm going to be on the computer and I need complete silence. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming out tonight. So I'm sure you're Elaine sounds accurate. Elaine just sounds like a stage, woman. Right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you know, this morning, my mom asked me if I wanted eggs for breakfast, and all I could think was, no, ma, I ordered takeout. I guess it's <laughs> take out for breakfast? Now, but at least that means I don't have to worry about cleaning up after myself. I'll tell you what, though. I can barely boil water, let alone make breakfast. That's a problem. I can barely boil water. But this isn't the only thing I'm bad at. Man, Larry is depressed. I don't even know how to spell restaurant. It's New York. That's all they eat. Well. Anyone else here have that same problem? The good news is, no. I'm not alone. Uh, all right. Enough of that. Let's get to the real joke. That's the lie Larry tells himself. I'm not alone. So what kind of animal hides in your I'm fridge? not going to drive that bus off a cliff. A zebra. No, wait. It's a gnat. Can Luke anyway, has VIP? Yes. I fridge, didn't even realize Luke Ever did. put your leftovers there in there go. and then forget where they were? There you go, Lukey. It feels like a treasure hunt every time I open Larry the isn't supposed to be Jerry? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's Larry. In this alternate universe. In this AI-generated universe anime. So what did you get for your birthday, Fred? Like Larry David? Maybe. This great new watch. It's so cool and it tells time in three different time zones all at once. Not a selling feature. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. How do you know which time is which? It Good has question. three different colored hands, red, blue, and green. Uh, yeah, so but each hand corresponds to a different time zone. But how do you know which is which? That's pretty imp impressive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they, what else you, you know get? that they're different, but you don't know which is which. Well, I also got a gift certificate to this new restaurant downtown. They have the most amazing food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a great birthday present. I'd love to check it out sometime. Larry needs a therapist, I agree. Larry definitely needs some help. <laughs> Let's make a plan to go there together next week. Definitely. Ah, uh, you've been a VIP we'll since the very beginning, time. Misha. And maybe I can even bring my watch so you can see just how cool it is. We all got VIP. Yeah, all that the regulars. sounds like a plan. All the regulars got I'm VIP. Sure it'll be fun. I think the AI became sentient and it, Larry is its body. Whoa! I hope not, Luke, but you might be right. Hey, I heard you got a new car. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Picked it up last week. What kind of car is it? Come on, give us the details. All right, it's a blue Ford Focus. Wait, did, was it, did, wasn't wow, he saying... not bad. Oh, I don't know. What's the top speed? The voices do need to be a little bit different for the guys. I bet you highway speeds pretty quickly. Because didn't he say... I? Is he talking to himself? It was a little bit nebulous who was talking to who there. Very important pe penis, yeah. <laughs> That's what it means. 
I don't know why they call it a food bank. It's no more a bank than my kitchen is. I was at the bank the other day, what? and all they gave me was a lollipop. What kind of bank is that? Uh, a good one, I guess. My neighbor just had a baby. It's so tiny and cute, I can barely make out its gender. Oh my god! I just saw a sign on the side of the road that said free compost. <laughs> what does Larry mean? scoping out babies. Why don't they get Seinfeld Did to you voice? Know that butter toast always lands butter side down? Don't worry. No. I tested it. My friend asked me for a dollar so he could buy some ice cream. I gave it to him, but he never came back with the ice cream. I was walking by Larry the just got robbed by a friend. And saw a sign that said, "All pets half off." Who would buy a half of a pet? Okay, come on, come on, Larry. Seinfeld would probably want too much money. I mean, you could use robot Seinfeld. Really stir the shit. There's TTS models hey, have that have you guys Seinfeld. Heard the rumor going around? Apparently, there's some kind of surprise party in town next week, and everyone is invited. The whole town? All of New Get York City? Here. Who's giving the party? <laughs> I heard it's Mr. Peterman's office. Peterman? <laughs> That's amazing. I wonder what kind of surprises he has in store. What the fuck was that? Elaine I'm dying to was find like out. Let's go giraffe out. fighting with uh, him. Larry. What are we waiting for? New character, Laura. Exactly. Let's go. Yeah, I'm in. Let's go check it out. Let's hit the road. <laughs> Let's hit the road as I microwave a banana for 10 minutes. So, Yvonne, when was the last time you experienced something truly surprising? <laughs> Ooh, uh, very. Just the other day, I opened my mailbox and there was a surprise package. Okay, surprise That's packages. Amazing. This is a common what theme. Was inside? <laughs> A book that I had ordered a few weeks ago, but didn't expect Oh, it's chugging. to arrive so soon. <laughs> wow, that's a lucky coincidence. I wish something like that would happen to me. <laughs> George, no! Who knows, Fred? The world is full of surprises. He tripped over the now, table. Yvonne, why Just don't like you give us an example into of something the couch. that was totally unexpected? The horror begins, exactly, yeah. That yeah. would be great. <laughs> Tell us about it. George is pretending like nothing well, happened. He's the other like, day I was walking down the street and saw a bird nest in an odd place. It was right in front of a store window. I thought it was so unusual that I took a photo of it. That was pretty unexpected and fun. I mean, bird nests in New York City are all over the place. I like how the laugh tracks aren't funny. <laughs> yeah, the laugh tracks just happen random. I heard, I think it's influenced by chat, like if you're laughing in chat or something. So did you hear about that new restaurant opening up? It's supposed to be really upscale. I hear they don't even let anyone in unless you have a reservation. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, it's a popular they restaurant. They, are? they can't just decide who they want to let in and who they don't. Yes, they can. They totally can, Larry. Maybe we should crash the place and prove them wrong. <laughs> You're gonna get arrested, Larry. He needs a reservation anyways. Uh, you do! Uh, <laughs> George is telling you! We can just bluff our way in. Alright, let's do it. It'll be a hilarious prank. It's possible he could. A hilarious prank. Let me go to a restaurant that requires reservations and not make a reservation. Ah, uh, such a funny prank. I tried to Good go to a restaurant everyone. once and they fired at me with a shotgun. How's everyone doing tonight? Sometimes it sometimes it happens. <laughs> what if the creator hates Seinfeld? It's possible. Well, I'm sure you all are having a fantastic night and ready for some laughs. 
So, let's get this show on the road. So, I was out at the store the other day. And Larry's a celebrity rules down the ply door. Well, we're about to find out. He was telling everyone that it could talk, but no one believed him. Finally, he just turns to the bird and says, what did I tell you about lying? Pauses for audience laughter. <laughs> All right, so I have another one. What did the fish say when it hit a wall? Damn. Damn. Pauses for audience laughter. Pauses for audience laughter. All right, so one more. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Oh, they make up everything. Okay. That one, they've, that one has been played before. Pauses for audience laughter. Oh, yeah. Larry, no. <laughs> okay, sometimes it works, Larry. You know what? I don't know. Very random, Larry. Never watched Seinfeld? Wow. I, I mean, I recommend it, yeah. It is... You gotta find the right so, episode to start what did with, you do though. Last like, night? Some are Nothing. very, like... I just kind of stayed in and watched some movies. I wonder if the pauses for you? audience laughter is a joke or a glitch. Yeah, I, went to I don't a know. comedy club with some of my friends. It was so much fun. We laughed until our faces hurt. Wow, that sounds like a great time. It's been too long since I've gone to something like that. Larry, you go to a comedy club every night. <laughs> well, what do you mean you went with a friend? With next time. It'll be a blast. You never know what kind of jokes the comedian. <laughs> Jesus, will come he up really with. does. S I mean, splash that sounds water like on a perfect there. evening let's do it jason you should be a comedian with his own sitcom like seinfeld uh, it's never gonna happen but thank you anime i would love that but that's uh, never gonna happen you know now an ai Yvonne. sitcom you can't keep a I good make comedy one. act down well i'm sure larry and i could come up with something hilarious I mean, imagine if we did a bit about people getting stuck in elevators. This has definitely been inspirational to <laughs> That's true, Yvonne. But don't forget about zoo animals escaping out of their cage. I've definitely been thinking of ideas all day since I've started watching this. Of different AI TV I could make. Yeah, that would be Getting hilarious. the AI to make these scripts is probably easy. We could easy. play it up yep. like the animals are trying to get back in, but they can't figure out how to open the doors. I've got the text generation. I've got the like text to speech comedy. figured out. Uh, That's an amazing idea. I would just need Larry. to figure out Unity. Let's definitely and, use that one. Uh, I have Unity prototypes up, so I know Unity. I would just have to like hook up all three together. I have all the pieces. All right. I can make I'm something like this. Great. Let's give the audience something they won't forget. Uh, I'll be taking ideas too. If you have ideas for. What you would want to see an AI generated version of. Uh, keep in mind, like source material probably. Hey Larry, did you hear the news? <laughs> it would probably have to what be news? something like this where it'd be like They just announced non sequitur the episodes. Is going to be hosting a comedy just make night AIPD a sitcom? We should hmm, all sign up. Not a bad idea, Chunktober. I don't know. Big that brother. Sound like that kind of <laughs> okay. What kind of jokes are they going to tell? Are we going to be too over the top? Come on, it's a great opportunity to make some extra money. I can't say... I could probably count the number of times I've had to microwave something over somebody else's house on one hand. All right, everyone. Like, I'm Larry, if someone came into my, my house and started microwaving Did something, I would be like, who invented lifesavers? Okay. They say he made <laughs> what are you making? How about the one about the three friends who walk into a bar? The first one says, Sister I'll Act 3. Beer. And the second one says, AI plays Sims 3. Oh, Sims is an interesting vehicle for says, it. Let's Maybe I can make a Sims mod. Thing. You'd have the I'll sentient have Sims show? Mm -hmm. I heard that one morning, a bear walked into a bar and said to the bartender, give me a whiskey, neat. The bartender replied, why the long pause? A duck walks into what? a bar and orders a beer. The bartender brings him the beer, and the duck starts drinking. Halfway through his drink, he turns to the bartender and says, hey, do you have any lettuce? The bartender says no. So the duck leaves. All right, that's all for me.
<laughs> Hope you enjoyed the what joke. What happened to the duck? What happened? Thanks, everyone. Why was the ch Larry? Are you okay, Larry? You didn't, it felt like you were setting something up and you never paid it off, Larry. I might wave popcorn a lot at my friend's house. Okay. Yeah. I what mean, do you think the chances are of me winning the lottery? But you, for you to do that regularly? I mean, Zero percent. Uh, I don't know. Ha. Huh. You should have seen the look on your face. I just face. don't go over people's houses that often, I, I guess. Admit, Maybe I should. That's a pretty but. good one. Maybe I'm but the But wait, one. did you actually buy a lottery ticket? That could mean the chances are way higher than zero. No. I'm not buying lottery tickets. The odds are too long. <laughs> too long. I'd be better off trying to win an Academy Award. Good luck with that one. George wins an Academy Award. It's cut, they're setting it up. Why would you plant the seed unless that was going to happen later in the season? AI generated Alfie. Yeah, that was mentioned earlier. Uh, hey, everyone. Maybe. It's good that might be, be possible. Tonight. So, I was walking down the street earlier and saw this old lady walking her dog. The dog had a name tag and it said Lassie. I thought to myself, what kind of parents would name their daughter Lassie? What? <laughs> you thought the dog was a dog? Anyways, did you hear about the couple who got married and then divorced after a week? Yeah, turns out it was a sham marriage. They wanted green cards. <laughs> <laughs> what? Night and day so fiance I was talking joke? to this guy the other day who claims he knows every lyric from every song ever made. He said it's really easy. Impossible. All you have to do is just follow the music. I'm still waiting on him to prove it though. All right. So I was out to dinner with my friends the <laughs> All other right. day and Moving they on. asked me what I wanted. I said a hamburger, but then they told me it wasn't on the menu. So I said that's okay. Just give me the menu. All right. I'm going to take my one star now. red lobster review Thanks for coming out. Everyone AI generated fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Larry. Are you going to go leave? Okay. Oof. Good night, everybody. As I just stand there. So you're telling me that you actually found the secret ingredient they use in their famous chili? Yeah, I did. It's cinnamon. Oh, I'm restarting the camera. <laughs> cinnamon? That's unexpected. That so is what unexpected. Are you going to do now? I guess it depends on what you want to do. Are you going to try and recreate the same flavor or use it for something else? I figure if I can recreate their chili, maybe I can get it on the menu in one of the local restaurants. Great idea. I think you should definitely give it a shot. Absolutely. Anything is worth a try. Just make sure to let me know how it goes. I will. Controversial but AI generated World War II. Oh, interesting. What's that? Uh, what's that Hulu show, Man hey, Fred, in the High Castle? Oh no, that's it's Amazon. Been over ten years since we last performed together. What I only watched the first season, but what a wild twist at the end! But I mean, who would have thought we'd both be here at the same place ten years? <laughs> AI generated on? Blues Clues. AI generated you know Scooby Doo could do. I thought for sure one of us would. An be AI generated by mystery now. has some p potential. I guess we were wrong. <laughs> and then solve a mystery at the end ever. Well, at least we replace the stand upset with a mystery That's where you true. just unmask whoever the. What say we give these folks a real show? AI generated award shows. You can't do worse than Velma. Damn. Shots fired. Kramer not as wacky in this one. It's hard to. They don't really have personalities. That's one thing I'll so say. Fred. I heard you got the job at that new software company. Yeah, They're kind of just all talking to each other. It pays really well, but I'm not sure about the work environment. I heard the boss Larry's is got a the real manager. Because I'm worried yeah, about him. Yeah, I heard that too. Well, let me know how it goes. They made Kramer serious. Okay. I don't know if they made him serious, hey, but he... Did you ever get a resolution to your neighbor's barking problem? 
The villain at the end of yeah, the unmask actually, could be I an um, emote used Turns during the episode in chat. Oh, I like that. I like dog. that, Al. So now we've got Thelma a whistle bad. exchange yeah, I've heard that. going on. I have no intention of watching. It's Not, actually kind of funny when you think about it. Never really like Scooby Doo. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I guess when it comes to barking dogs, some people just have to get creative. Larry's personality is depression. Hey, you know. He doesn't have to let it consume him. Larry can get out of this one. With, you know, the as long as Larry progresses in his career, he can I can't believe pull himself I'm out of this. I believe. Well, you know what they say. I just watched reactions company. to people watching Velma so I didn't have to suffer firsthand. No offense, that seems like the way to do it. The more entertaining going. way to do it. I'm not Did they change the names for legal reasons? Answers. Probably. Hey, if it makes you feel better, I'll buy everyone ice cream. <laughs> oh my now god. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's hit the nearest ice cream parlor. Larry face planning into his printer. You know what they say, ice cream is always the answer. Let's go. <laughs> no one says that. I don't even think Thousand Pound Sisters say that. So a priest, a rabbi, and a pastor walk into a bar. Uh-oh. The bartender says, what can I get you fellas? The priest says, I'll have a beer. Okay. The pastor says, I'll have a cup of coffee, please. Don't get racist, the Larry. The says, oy vey, I am so thirsty. Can I get two shots of tequila? Okay. <laughs> so the bartender serves up all their drinks, and they sit down to enjoy them. As they do, a fly buzzes into the bar. Okay. A lot of setup for this one, Larry. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Larry, you joke tease! So, Larry, do you really think everyone here is oh, you at your jokes? It was all set up. Absolutely. I mean, who wouldn't find my jokes hilarious? <laughs> well, I guess it depends on their sense of humor. Does it also depend Pay off on them nothing having fits a sense the title. of humor at all? You know what? Oh, you got me out of there, anime. Really matters. <laughs> He blue balled us, yes. Well, I'm going to take that as a compliment. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Fuck you, hey, Larry. Why don't we take a break and go get some ice cream? It'll be fun. But it's barely after lunchtime. Hey, you pumped the brakes on you the ice cream, that's Larry. Such a good idea. Yeah, I don't think so, hey, Larry. When it comes to ice cream, there is never a bad time. Ah, uh -huh, there's a bad time. See, even Fred is on my side. That's one vote. I'm still not convinced. They just had ice cream. I know. Yeah. <laughs> ice cream is Larry's depression food. Yeah. I thought Elaine was holding like a AK-47 mag. But it's just a phone. Who is Elaine calling? Hey, everyone. Jason, check Thanks art. Okay. Out tonight. Okay, okay. Just generic so, Oma uh, I was out to dinner anime. The other day and I saw something pretty funny. There was this guy at Nothing the table questionable. Next to me, and he had a full plate of food in go. front of him. The waiter comes to take his order, and the guy. It's very good at making animu. Says, I didn't order anything. So the waiter asked him what he was doing with all that food. <laughs> yeah. And the guy said, Well,. I didn't want to be rude, so I figured I'd just eat it. They're ordering takeaway ice cream. Yeah, Everyone I've never got ice cream one. delivered. I'm sure you can all I relate. feel like that's a Anyways, new low. I hope you're all having a great evening, and please stick around for more jokes. All right. Oh, my here's God. Here's another one. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Gummy bear. Oh my god, Larry's on a blue ball streak. He's just doing setups. So Larry, the whole week he's just doing job. setups. <laughs> Fuck you, Larry! It's great. I need I'm some really closure in my the jokes. Challenge of learning something new. And I'm getting paid more than ever before. Larry is only here to blue ball. That's great. 
What kind of job is it? Oh no. I'm a delivery driver for an online grocery store. Oh no. It's been surprisingly fulfilling considering I'm just delivering orders. Larry's doing shipped. Wow. That sounds to like subsidize a really his comedy. rewarding job. Oh god, he's going down. This is the downward spiral of Larry. Oh, he was a full-time comic and then he blue balls to everybody. I feel so bad for Larry. There's one actually good joke in the episode that I watched where they were talking about a restaurant in New York clothes and what they were gonna do. Larry just said he'll order takeout. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty good. I got McDonald's ice cream delivered, but with a Big Mac and fries. Well, I guess that's okay. But if you just get straight ice cream delivered. He's got joke block and he, he can only come with the set. Okay, yeah. 99, yeah. I mean, th those 1% of hits, too. It's it's definitely intriguing, too, Owl. Because it's different. There's, there's weird things that repeat, but for the most part, it's been pretty different all day. There's definitely some seed prompts and stuff that you could tell, like, okay, that's like the setup, but... There needs to be a sub-tier where the only perk is being sent a Mutsuki dance video. I've seen scripted sitcoms that are less funny. Yeah, I do so like I the randomness. I don't know what's going to happen. transferred in from Cancun. I wonder what she'll have to say about our library system. Oh, yeah? Just imagine if she asks for dogs in the library. Did George get a or mail order bride? Or what if she make it a rule that everyone has to whisper? Talk about a quiet place. That would be a disaster. <laughs> there goes George I'm into the couch you, again. Chaos would ensue. Yeah, it would be chaos. <laughs> Full force. We could oh, it, it, to he's really like... Books on tape. Huh, yeah. That would make a lot of people happy. Or how about books that could play you music? Oh, that would be wild. Imagine never needing to buy a record again. A record? We could make uh, a whole new kind of library experience. Larry, we're talking about books, man. The animation is pretty low quality, though. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's just so impressive. What do you think the biggest surprise of the day is going to be? That it's like oh, clearly you know some else? kind of 3D something with a filter what? on it. It looks like postcards, but an entire book of them. That it's so hot outside. Yeah. Whatever it is, I don't think anyone will see it coming. It's got a charm. It's definitely got an aesthetic that I dig. No, I think the biggest surprise is that our neighbor's cat has been meowing for four hours straight. Ugh, I hate that. I'm not... Who would have expected I love that, that I live in a house and I don't have to deal with neighbors, like, above and below. Or across the hall. Ugh, that sucked. When you just want a piece of quiet or something and somebody else is having a fuck up day. Hey everyone, I'm Larry. Why did Twitch remove the pog face so again? I to my There's car no the pog? Day and I look over and what do I see? A giant bird. I see Not pog. Not one of those little birds either. A turkey. It's been this and weird so reptile here, for a while. Just me and this turkey staring at each other. And then it starts to walk closer. So I take a few steps back and I'm like, uh, what do you want? And the turkey just tilts its head at me and then walks away. I guess he just oh, wanted okay. to make sure I was cool with him being there. He said some unsavory That's stuff. Oh my god. Old Paul guy was shitty, yeah. Start button, boy. Hey, thanks for the follow, Kakao. All right, all right. 25. <laughs> so this one time I was out with my friends and we were looking for a good place to eat. We came across this restaurant called Chick Phil Well. Chick Phil Wow. In and the waitress was like, What can I get you? And my buddy Mark says, How about some chicken? Phil Well. We all just busted out laughing. That's what I love about Mark. He always has the best puns. Okay. What was the pun about having chicken? <laughs> Never gonna find out. I've seen this episode hey, before. Hey, Larry. I heard you got a new job as a comedian. How's it going? It's never exactly the same. Some of them have the same... It's the same starter. Great. I'm really enjoying... 
enjoying myself. What about you? Are you still performing? <laughs> yes, What's I'm Kramer doing, doing? stand-up at a local comedy club. Whoa, Kramer! How about you? <laughs> yeah. What kind of jokes are you telling? Uh -oh. I'm mostly doing observational humor. I like to make fun of everyday situations and the quirks of society. Okay. What kind of jokes do you like to tell? Kramer likes to say... I love telling jokes that surprise people and catch them off guard. Well, I like that's to one poke way to fun at the absurdities in life, but also have some insightful humor to offer. Okay, yeah, Kramer. <laughs> this makes me feel like I have a fever and it's why I am watching that reruns. Great. Yeah, a little bit. I it's a little bit. Up my routine with I don't know. I can't. Jokes. I was like watching it all throughout my work day, too. I was like, I don't know. There's something to this that's. And I just love uh, watching chat and see what people are saying. So what do you guys want to do today? I'm not sure if I have anything planned. What if we put on a show? We could do impressions, tell jokes, and get the crowd laughing. Okay. We can even make some outrageous bets. How outrageous, Kramer. It won't be a show like anything anyone has seen before. And maybe sometimes we'll you need to see... We'll be the talk see... of the town. Mm. Yeah, for you, Kramer. <laughs> Kramer, you know, infamy is always good. All right, let's do it. We'll be the best comedy act in town. Don't we'll go, surprise George. the crowd with our unexpected humor and jokes. Uh-oh, George is... This is going to be, uh... Everyone's getting canceled after this show. I'm going to come up with some amazing pranks and ideas. We'll have them all Prank? laughing in no time. That's a great idea. <laughs> Let's get to work. You were watching it while working? Your boss didn't mind? Well, I work from home, so... I regularly have uh, shit going on the other monitor. Unless I'm really busy. Jason doesn't like Kramer. Well, I just know that Kramer... Hey everyone, it's great to be here. Kramer and stand up, let's say, just don't mix. The other day, and I saw a sign that said free samples. So, of course, I had to go for it. I take one of the samples and put it in my cart. And then the cashier says to me, Sir, that sample isn't free. It's $2. And I looked at him and said, Well, I guess it's not really a sample then, is it? Who Everyone laughed. Who charges for free anyway, samples? Thanks for having me here tonight. Enjoy the rest of your night. Cheers. Boo. All right. <laughs> so I was out for dinner the other night, and my friend is telling me about how his girlfriend just lost her job. He's obviously feeling down about it, so he goes to take a bite of his dinner, and he looks up at me and... <laughs> says my life is like this dinner. It looks good, smells good, but when I take a bite of it, it's just kind of bland. Oh my god, that's uh -huh. incredibly depressing. So don't let life get too bland, right? All right, let's see. All right, have a great rest of your night. Mm, it's a little questionable, Omagana. I don't like how young... I'm so bored. But it's How okay. You, it's, it's fine. You know what? I'm actually feeling kind of creative. Let's write a sketch and perform it for everyone. I think it should have an element of surprise. Like, what if we switched roles halfway through the sketch? That's a great I idea. I think he was canceled, though. We I could think that surprise was my... everyone and show that we can both do different types of comedy. What do you think it should be about? How about something to do with relationships? Maybe a couple who's just starting out and then it turns out they have more in common than anyone imagined. Brilliant. They could have the same interests and even start to look alike. That's definitely something people would find surprising. All right, let's start writing. <laughs> Is the joke that they're never gonna finish? Elaine is down the. She's down the cloud. She went right for the computer. She's like, I'm writing this down. I'm creating the screenplay. 
George was walking away from the computer. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Well, He's not know. even serious about it. Are you guys going to this new comedy club tonight? Absolutely. Uh -oh. It's supposed to be really funny. <laughs> supposed to be. Hey, I heard there's a comedian there who does impressions of famous people. I wonder if he does me. <laughs> George just tackled Elaine into her chair. I highly doubt it. I know one thing for sure. It'll be something outrageous. Let's check it out and find out. Sounds like a plan. All right, everyone. Ready to get some laughs? <laughs> you know Sit it. down, Elaine. Yeah. Let's go. Hey guys, I just had the craziest idea. Okay. What is it? Let's not go. Uh, guess we're just never going to find out. <laughs> okay, there we go, yeah. <laughs> I had the craziest idea. What is it? Hey, Larry, what was it? did you hear what I heard? Sure. Apparently the mayor is thinking of making a new law that requires all residents to wear stripes every day. Stripes every day, okay. Can you imagine me walking around in stripes? How about you, Larry? I mean, if you're in jail. Well, Fred, you know I'm not one to follow rules, so I guess it wouldn't be too much of a stretch for me, but it would certainly make things interesting. The only problem I can see what a good is law. that stripes might not be the most flattering choice of outfit. Larry. I mean, how would you know who is the mayor and who is just a regular citizen? Establishing his life of crime. I, you know, George, you know be. how much I don't obey the law. It would be like a giant, where's Waldo? What, Larry? I mean, it would be the law. They would have to have him, man. Hi, everyone. So I was walking down the street the other day and I saw this lady with a pet alligator. And she said to me, I just love taking my gator for walks. Okay. I said, lady, that's a really big commitment. She just shrugged <laughs> and said, yeah, but my gator has to get his exercise somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess if you own an alligator, I guess. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of why I'm scared to go for a walk in the park. Okay. Thank you. That lady probably would be in jail for... All right. You can't so have a crocodile or alligator so walking through New York. So I was in the New grocery York. store the other day, and I saw this couple arguing over which type of cereal to buy. The woman said to the man, Honey, why don't you just go with my choice? The guy uh -oh. looked at her and said, Because Ooh. I'm not a sheep. Oh! No, just Whoa! Just another day in the cereal aisle. I'm no sheep. Thanks, everyone. Oh, <laughs> All right, last one. Okay. So I was at the movies the other day, and there was this couple sitting in front of me who were being really loud and obnoxious. Out of nowhere, this old lady turns around and says, <laughs> Hey, that's enough out of you, too. Show some respect. And then she died. <laughs> she was killed right in the middle of the movie theater. And that's why I don't say anything anymore. So I was thinking of doing something outrageous today. Ooh. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Oh, come on, Larry. Yeah. Don't tell us. Let's all go out and do it together. I know if you tell us, it won't be as funny when we actually do it. All right, let's go for it then. I've heard about this new restaurant in town, and apparently the food is out of this world. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, I heard about that place too. Let's do it. Well, I think it might be new more restaurant. interesting if we dress up like pirates and walk in. Oh, pirate you themed. Like full-on pirate costumes. It's not a pirate themed restaurant, but they will make it pirate themed by walking in like that. Oh, this is a pirate bar now. Hi everyone, my name is Larry. Hi Larry. So glad to be here performing for you all tonight. I was walking down the street earlier and saw a sign that said wet paint, so naturally I had to touch it. Sure Why? Sure enough, it was wet. What kind of person would be stupid enough to put a sign up like that? 
Um, with someone who didn't want you to touch the fucking wet paint. New restaurant, the microwave. Anyway, oh, I'm hey. sure you all want to know what it's like being a dad. Well, let me tell you, it's great. Larry's got kids? My kids are the best thing that ever happened to me. Ooh. And if I could go back in time no custody. and do it all again, I would in a heartbeat. I have not, I've yet to see Larry's kids, so that means they're living with mama. But, of course, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Yeah. There are some bad moments, too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like when my son got sick and I had to stay up all night taking care of him. Or when my daughter started going through her teenage years and wanted nothing to do with me. Damn it, that's sad. And no matter what, I wouldn't trade my family for anything. They, keep uh, they sound like they would trade you, the though, Larry. Person in the world. All right, everyone. He does Thanks not see his kids, yeah. You're all great. I, I, I. I, I, I forgot new joke time. Oh, okay. So a doctor walks into a bar and the bartender says, what can I get you? The doctor replies, I'll have an influenza shot, please. The bartender gives him a puzzled look and says, will that be on the rocks? All right. That's all for now. Oh, Thanks again for having God. me. Bye, everyone. Stay safe and stay And healthy. then the shot, the, the doctor shot, the, gave me the Peace flu out. shot in my balls. That's it. That's my new joke. He's married, but he lives the bachelor life in New York. Yeah. Uh, I guess separated would be the term. Hey, Yvonne, have you seen the new TV show? Ooh, it's all the rage. New show, new TV show. I hear the actors are really good. They better be. I'm so excited to watch it tonight. What is it? What I'm is it? I'm a reality TV fan myself, but I'll still watch it. That's a weird reaction. How can you not be excited? I'm telling all my friends to tune in. It's going to be hilarious. I'm sure it will be, but I still think reality TV is better. I mean, you never know what to expect from it. Yeah, but it can rot your true, brain too, because you can, sometimes be really you different. can know exactly what's going to happen. It's funny. You can't beat that. I'm sure I'll love it. <laughs> okay, just the hard cuts of silences. Hey everyone, it's great to be here. All right, uh, I gotta get ready for my show. So, so bye, ho we way, everyone. See you tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna you know, raid the Watch Me Forever text, channel. So enjoy. If you, you want to continue watching, it's pretty things. wild. Like, good morning, uh, I'll probably be on later watching this. Uh, but the truly bizarre thing. Was we'll that see. He spoke yeah. Spanish. All right. Have fun watching now, more if you want to, or Spanish, see you tomorrow so for more IPD. So Bye, I we got him a Spanish-speaking friend. He was so excited when they met, 